Okay, welcome back everyone, and a uh, quick advertisement here. There will be a stream every Friday at 4 o'clock Eastern, and if something on a rare, I will hopefully be able to announce if the stream will not happen. So let's get into the mock here. So this is, if you haven't seen the first episode, you can check that out. I'll probably link it in the description. But basically, this right here is my Coruscant building mock, as you saw in the intro. And um, I'm not going to touch on this, but up here, basically, this is like a restaurant, bar sort of thing. And over on this side, we got like some poster and stuff on the side. There, it's blocked because of the shadow. But I can take this off. And you can see that that's just a stickered piece that I had. And I thought that'd look good there. And then you have, just going over all the outside decor, you have this right here and this right here, which are just like meant to be holographic signs that you see everywhere on the, some of the levels of Coruscant. And basically, we have um, a Plo Koon figure and a Quinlan Voss figure. I need a light in there. I'll be right back. Okay, so now that we have a light here, we can see what's going on there in there. So we have Plo Koon right here, which isn't actually Plo Koon. It's just a Plo Koon figure because he is a species of alien. And I used up a lot of my alien figures down below. We just have a basic bartender made up of a decent amount of Han Solo parts, like the torsos, his carbonite freezing of the head is just Han Solo. Then you have Quinlan Boss back in the corner, who was a Jedi who escaped Order 66. I don't know much more on him, I'm not sure if what I know is Legends or not, or if it's canon, because it's hard to know what is and what isn't. And then you have basically the Imperials just coming into the bar, because, well, he escaped Order 66, and we're probably hunting for the Jedi. So you got like this officer guy here and two stormtroopers. And I, oh, for the detail on the desk itself, there is those spring-loaded shooter parts, which I wanted to try to use in, the, in this. So, yeah, this is like already getting getting pretty big. And I'm going to... I guess map out what I plan to do with this next. So, I have um, used all three of these now that I had. And then I have two of these. But basically up top here, I'm not sure if it's going to stay like that. Yeah, yes it will. But I'm going to build it like a landing pad. Like you see in like the Ahsoka R7. Several of the Ahsoka arcs where she goes down into the uh, Coruscant underworld and some of the other episodes you just see like There's these big tubes that ships can fly down into the lower section and there's like landing pads So I want this to be sort of like a speeder skiff landing pad And then I can build like just a big wall with a door in it right here and that'll be like it, I don't know if I, I might have to buy parts for this, and I don't intend on buying parts anytime soon. So, obviously, this might not be like the wall goes this high, and then it waits a while. But eventually, it would rise up pretty high, and then you would have up top here, like, a, a, I'd build a circle using some snot techniques and stuff. Snot is a stud snot on top. And, um, down below... This is where I probably am going to move that piece up there. Underneath here, I'm going to have a Sith Temple. And I think what it's going to be is like a scavenger going in to retrieve the Sith Holocron. But he doesn't know it's going to hurt, severely hurt or kill him as he enters it. Because it's Sith and evil and all that. So that is pretty much it. The camera's been going up and down a lot, I know, but... It's a tall mock now. Not really tall. I mean, the Imperial shuttles next to me is taller, but still. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time.